Hello guys and gals and welcome. So today is another episode of Rune Words. And uh, by the fanaticism aura under my feet, I hope that you can tell that we're going to be talking about a very special rune word, and it is called Faith. The Faith rune word is uh, a rather expensive rune word with Om, Ja, Lem, and uh, the rather inexpensive Eld. But uh, Om, Ja are rather expensive runes, and Lem, while it's not ridiculously expensive, it's a little hard to come by sometimes. Um, it just kind of depends. Uh, sometimes I'll have three or four limbs laying around, and sometimes I can never seem to find one. Um, but the bow itself is absolutely an amazing bow, and um, it has so many uses on so many different characters, um, it's kind of hard to go over them all. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over the rune word itself on the website, and we're going to take a look at, uh, at what this rune is capable of and what this rune can roll. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about, of course, is uh, the rune word's level. So the maximum uh, rune in the rune word is level 65, and that is the one that determines the level of this particular rune uh, word. So it is always going to be level 65 or higher, depending on the item that you put it in. If, if you find an item which has a higher level requirement than 65, it will be higher than 65. But for the most part, I think it will just always be level 65, because there's not a lot of higher... Uh, item bases at the level 65. So we have um, some variables here which are rather extreme. So we've got level 12 to level 15 fanaticism aura. And uh, if you take a look at fanaticism aura, you will find out that fanaticism aura varies uh, between a uh, damage of 237% to a uh, damage of 288%. So you lose about 50% uh, damage there if you end up with the lower end. But the thing that people are really interested in is the attack speed, which is 31% to 34%. So as you can see, it's not a huge variable between the two. You're not really losing out a massive amount if you roll the 12%. Um, but it definitely would be nicer to have the level 15 as opposed to the level 12. And, uh, I mean, you get uh, damage, you get attack rating, um, <laughs> you get uh, uh, attack speed... Sorry, attack attack damage to your party, attack damage to you, and attack speed, as well as attack rating here. Um, the attack rating is definitely nice, but it's not really what people come to fanaticism for. The main thing that people come to fanaticism for is the beautiful, beautiful um, attack speed here, the 31 to 33%. So when you're thinking about fanaticism, um, you're really thinking about the bonus to attack speed along with the, uh, the very nice bonus to either your damage or your party's damage. And this is important because you notice there's a huge variable between the party damage and the, the damage that you are receiving. Um, so if, if it's for you, you're getting a rather large bonus in your damage. But if it's for somebody else, like for instance, if you're a summon necromancer and you're trying to beef up your army, um, they're not getting as much damage as uh, as the wielder is getting. So uh, let's go back to the item and we'll take a look. Uh, the next variable is plus one to two to all skills, and that's definitely one that you would like to have plus two on if you're going to wield it. Uh, it's, if it's for a mercenary, it's probably not going to matter whether it's plus one or plus two. So uh, that's not a huge variable there for the mercs. But for the uh, player, if you're an Amazon, for instance, I would definitely look at um, at that. So 330% uh, ED is static, which is very nice. It also has Enor's target's defense, which is very nice. That means that uh, if it is a regular monster, so it, the bosses do not count into this, but if it is a regular monster, um, you will always hit the target, which is that with a 95% chance, which is very nice. 300% bonus to attack rating means you're going to be able to hit those bosses a little bit easier. 75% uh, damage to undead, 50 to attack rating against undead, 120 fire damage, all resistance is 15, which is nice to have on a bow because you're losing your shield. It would be nice if that was a little bit higher, but uh, but what can you do? And a 10% chance to reanimate as returned. And uh, basically what this does is it, it if, if you kill the monster with this bow, um, the monster has a chance to turn into a, a skeleton, which is pretty cool. And uh, it essentially just acts as a tank. They don't do a massive amount of damage, but if you have a bunch of these little skeletons roaming around the battlefield, it acts as a diversionary tactic to allow you to deal damage while they are taking hits. 75% extra gold for monsters is certainly nice as well. And, uh, you know, it, it comes in handy. You just have a little bit of extra cash. 
Now, the variables on this uh, being at 12 to 15 fanaticism, 1 to 2 to all skills, is uh, is kind of a little much. So if you're rolling a, uh, a fanaticism bow, a faith bow, um, and you end up with 12 with plus 1 to skills, that would be very sad. Um, but I think a lot of people are excited to get that level 15 fanaticism, especially since most of the time when you're rolling this bow, you're using it on something that is not an Amazon. And I'll explain a lot of those case scenarios. So if we go back to the bow itself, one of the things that a lot of people will do with a faith bow is they will take the faith bow and put it on a mercenary. And the reason why you put the faith bow on the mercenary is because she will get fanaticism and then spread that to the rest of your group. Um, there are a lot of use cases for this. Like, say, for instance, you are an Amazon, but you don't specifically want to use a faith bow. Maybe there is a very specific bow that you would like to use. Um, say, for instance, Wizendraw with the negative 34% cold resistance because you're a cold Amazon. Or maybe you're using um, an ice bow, which is a very nice rune word. Or maybe you're using, um, you know, um, a freaking wind force or something i don't know whatever it is that you're using that you would rather use over the faith bow you can still obtain this fanaticism aura while using whatever it else you're using and your mercenary becomes a rather hefty powerhouse herself now as a necromancer uh you've seen me play some of necromancer a lot a faith bow is something that i would actually like to get my hands on because uh, i want to give the fanaticism aura to my skeletons uh, if my skeletons can attack faster, they're going to do way more damage than it just simply if they're doing more damage with the Might Aura. Right now, my I'm using Might Aura on my Mercenary to increase the damage that they do. But if I could increase their attack speed by 33%, um, they would be hitting way, way, way quicker, and they would be dishing out that damage way, way, way faster, which is definitely something that I am looking forward to on my, my Necromancer. So eventually you probably will see me running around with a Faith Bow on my uh, on my Bow Girl. I'll end up having a Bow Girl. Now the damage on the bow is actually really nice and uh, as you can see she does 1655 damage and, uh, and she also has the Fanaticism Aura so she's attacking much 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 faster. She has the Ignore Targets defense so she's going to rip through targets fairly easily. And uh, if you take her out into uh, any any zone, you'll notice a huge difference in the amount of damage that she puts out. Now, the, the main issues with this bow, obviously, are it costs so much to make. Um, Ohm, Jaw, Lem, Eld is a rather expensive recipe. And uh, getting your hands on a Jaw, an Ohm, and a Lem rune all at the same time to make this bow and not needing them for something else is uh, is half the trouble a lot of people when they get their hands on a jaw rune they're going to want to use them um you know for instance in a another rune word which is very popular uh an enigma which is jaw if burr um or they might want to use them in another rune word uh which is uh io jaw pull uh which is dream and uh you know it's it's just an interesting rune word because it has so many niche uses uh, there is probably no melee or ranged character who would not benefit from having fanaticism aura um, stacked on top of what they already have and there there is another way to get fanaticism aura which is the beast weapon which only has level nine fat fanaticism aura but is also a very good option specifically for uh, characters who would want to actually wield the weapon as a necromancer i really want to use my wand so wielding a beast weapon is not my priority i'd rather have a mercenary with the effect but um as you can see beast is uh, an expensive rune word in itself as it has burr um and mal in it which are all kind of expensive i would definitely say faith is the the more expensive of the two um anyway as always, I hope that you uh, you appreciate these videos on looking at the rune words and uh, and what they may be useful for. Um, this particular rune word is certainly a uh, very beautiful one, but it has a lot of niche uses, like necromancers or maybe, for instance, a vengeance paladin who would like to have fanaticism while he's using conviction at the same time. A uh, you know a summon necromancer who wants to increase the speed of his army. Or uh, perhaps just a you know a regular Amazon who'd like to you to use it as a uh, a strafe bow or uh, something of that nature. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching and uh, keep watching.